I would suggest whoever is speaking, just leave the speaker's camera on a little bit once yeah. you know, we introduce the other person, then the other person can turn the camera on. Yeah, it's great. Great. Yeah. Okay, I will just uh, share my screen. Just stop. Start recording later. Uh, Sean, but Sean, I, th I think you're, 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 you you can start perhaps in uh, within one minute. Right, you're right. So we have uh, 35 people, 33 people. Looks like uh, increasing number of uh, yes, so people are jumping. So <laughs> little bit, yeah. One more minute, we oh, can, we can have, wait. We can yeah, wait. Yeah, we can wait matter. for one more minute. Yeah. Please. Just just one suggestion would be once we start the recording, once the recording has begun, I would suggest to give it a minute so that it might delay a bit. So give it a minute after the recording starts and then you can start your presentation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So uh, I will start record uh, now. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Recording in progress. Okay, I will see. Okay, uh, can you see my PPT slide? Yeah. Yes, we can. Okay, thank you very much. Um, good afternoon, thank you for everyone of you for being here virtually today with us. Um, my name is Kala Gao and I'm a publisher of chemical engineering at uh, elsewhere. I'm very glad to meet you here with the publishing seminar hosted by Journal Dissertation and uh, the uh, conference Fab's international conference on dissemination using membrane technology. Welcome everyone to here. And uh, this is a brief plight for our dissemination destination house. We are uh, as publisher try our best to provide uh, our options and uh, cover uh, at most uh, aspects to meet various publication needs. And uh, have as we have so many uh, journal titles to uh, chose uh, it may be more challenging to choose the right journal to publish in. So uh, I hope today's uh, uh, the webinar uh, will uh, provide you some suggestion and to help you. And these are some tips on how to find the right journal to publish in. Uh, first, let's assume that you already finished your project and have a manuscript in hand. So where should we start? Maybe uh, your reference list will be a good starting point because um, it's always a good idea to share your funding with where your peers uh, choose to share theirs. And uh, what else you may want to uh, talk with your colleagues or super supervisor, they can add some other journal in your set list. And uh, also always check the uh, journals, is it indexed or not and the qualified matrix like, uh, like our uh, set score and impact factor. I'm sure you all uh, have heard about that. And uh, before uh, you can confirm one uh, journal title for your uh, manuscript, maybe always to uh, check the a manuscope uh, on the journal homepage because the best matching would be a uh, best option. And also read uh, that most uh, papers and uh, the recently publishing articles. It will give you a better idea about what's the journal Fox recently. So uh, also you can check out the editor's uh, expertise. So uh, it can be confirmed that we have right journal to handle your uh, paper. If you have still have some few journal to choose from, Maybe uh, also look at the timely review process of the uh, speed of the journal. Um, you, you may want to choose the one to can deliver a manuscript in short time. And finally, uh, before you submit your journal, always check the guide to authors uh, to ensure it, uh, your, your paper can meet the other guidelines and to look at uh, other relevant, um, relevant uh, things you need. So here I just listed some uh, uh, impact factor. So uh, impact factor is uh, a very important, important um, matrix. It is uh, an average annual number of citations per article published calculated uh, over the two years. So uh, in the journal homepage, you can see all the 
perfect information and its ranking in category. And also another one would be size score. Size score is uh, quite a, a bit of different with imperfect. It will calculate uh, four years statisticians, uh, four years uh, documents. So uh, in Scope's homepage, you can see every uh, journal size score and uh, also a size score tracker in current years. Also, uh, there are some um, ranking in, the, in uh, every uh, category. Uh, let's take an uh, example of desalination journal. Uh, you can see the metrics and speed, also acceptance rate uh, at the journal homepage, and also uh, the mainly also workshop. From the homepage, uh, you can also read the recently published articles and uh, most uh, cited paper. And uh, from the uh, full AMAN scope, you will see the very detailed topics. Uh, I'm sure that the general coverage of the AMAN scope is possible uh, possibility, have a big possibility that your, John, your manuscript fits in, but it will be better if you uh, manuscript is uh, false in the scopes of one of the below topics um, because for most of the journals we have at least the one editor's expertise for the list, uh, listed topics and uh, also the guide for authors um, you can see from the homepage of the journal and uh, look at the very detailed information which is some submission checklist and uh, to make sure your uh, submitted paper format is very, uh, it, it meets the requirements. And uh, we uh, actually also have uh, some websites to help you. Uh, in this journal insights, maybe you want to, you want to check the website and uh, you can see every information you need from uh, from this website, such as you search for one of the journal, you will see the review speech and the yearly metrics and uh, also a uh, yearly acceptance rate, authors and downloads uh, numbers. We also uh, developed a tool for, to assist you. So um, next time you, you can give it a, a try to uh, fill in your title and abstract, it will give you some suggestions. Uh, so after your article being published, uh, maybe you want to promote your article uh, in conferences such as you can have a very good opportunity to networking and collab cooperation with peers and so and uh, also some social media related and here I listed some tips maybe um, help you to create a very uh, create some some guide folder. Um, promotion uh, will be create a very uh, attentional grabbing headlines and uh, keep it very short and relevant and make it easy to find out. And here uh, some example and you can see the promotion. And we also have Twitter, LinkedIn and the WeChat account uh, related to this journal dissemination. If you have interest, uh, welcome to follow us. So furthermore, uh, I, I'd li also like to share with the news uh, of dissemination. At the uh, end of this year, Professor Dale Hela was stepped down as editor-in-chief of dissemination. So um, on behalf of Elsevier, all the editorial staff and everyone who have worked with the journal, I'd like to offer my sincere thanks for his enormous contribution to the journal over the last 10 years. His work for the journal is trans transformational and he will remembered in the history of the journal dissemination. So uh, let's thanks again to Professor Hilao. And uh, as um, from next year, uh, to co editor in chief will take over for the first time in the journal's history. So please join me to welcome Professor Tao He uh, of uh, Chinese Academy of Sciences and uh, Professor. Ho Kyung Xiong uh, from University of Technology, Sydney, to take the helm of the journal. Uh, Professor Ho joined the journal since 2017, and uh, Professor Ho Kyung Xiong uh, since 2018. Both of them contribute a lot to the journal and witnessed the development and growth of the journal. 
they already were uh, close, very closely worked for years. So uh, it's no doubt that they will work as a perfect peer in the new position. Uh, I believe the journal will establish a bright new future with the leadership of Professor He and Professor Xiong. If you have any uh, new idea or suggestion to the journal, so welcome to contact me or Professor He and Professor Xiong. I think maybe for next, uh, Professor He uh, would like to say something about the journal. So I will over to you, uh, Professor He. Thank you, Carla. Uh, it's my really great honor and pleasure to uh, to be the uh, editor chief together with Sean for starting next year. And uh, I will uh, uh, first share my screen because I prepared a slide uh, together with Sean. Uh, sure. So uh, now let me start. All right. Um, I see a lot of young people are in this uh, meeting room. Um, uh, we, uh, Sean and I, uh, want to give uh, all the people a little bit of taste of how you can publish papers in desalination, as uh, a lot of papers have been rejected without any review. So um, this will take a few minutes. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. The first of all, uh, like Carla said, that we have uh, several platforms to uh, uh, advertise our papers, the journal information, progress of the journals. And um, if you have an idea or some feedback, you want to share with everybody, all the research pe people in the desalination membrane field, you, you can con contact me or contact Sean we can post your message to the platforms. Uh, we hope that these three platforms can give you a better communication with all readers, uh, the, the uh, people who want to publish papers uh, as an interactive uh, uh, platform. Uh, you can learn and you can share your work. Uh, we can grow together. Uh, Desalination, uh, want to be the leading international journal on the science and technology of desalting and water purification. It is a multidisciplinary journal. We want to publish uh, high quality papers also on desalination membrane materials, uh, materials, not all the membranes, processes, and related and novel technologies. Uh, the journal is connected to water desalting, including application of desalination to seawater groundwater, wastewater, uh, and such as the thermal membrane, sorption, hybrid processes. Um, you will notice that uh, the journal has an impact factor of 9.5, which is uh, one of the top uh, in the engineering journal, engineering research field. Uh, we want to improve the impact of the journal by publishing better novel and uh, strong impact of talk technology and science uh, contributions in the membrane in the desalination field um, you will look at when you look at this uh, geographic uh, geog geographic location of uh, author contribution uh, china remain for many years the top uh, in in uh, top authors uh, us the second the third goes to south korea uh, if you uh, uh, take a take a look at the statistics. Uh, every year, the Chinese uh, researchers contribute about sixty to seventy percent of the paper published in in, in dissemination. We are uh, focusing on different uh, subjects, uh, but doesn't mean that other countries, regions like uh, Middle East, uh, U.S. and uh, South Africa. They also contribute South America. They also contribute quite significantly to to the to the dissemination uh, authorship. I hope to get a, a, a wider variety of the uh, country contribution to dissemination. If you have any nice, novel, interesting results you want to share with everybody, share with all the readers around the world, uh, you are more than welcome. 
Uh, this is a, a show that the uh, growth of the impact factor. Since Nidao took over, took over the journal, the uh, growing is uh, uh, steady. And uh, sometimes we have some downside or flattened uh, uh, value. But along the years, in the ten, past 10 years, you will see the constant uh, growth of the impact factor. This means that uh, the, the readership, uh, we have wider readership and more readers, readers, and as well as we have a better, uh, higher impact papers published in dissemination. So we want to make it a kind of a respective uh, journal. If you publish papers in dissemination, you'll be, you should be uh, proud of it. And, but on the other hand, the impact factor is only one thing because the calculation is quite limited. They only calculated the paper published in one, uh, in, in one year, divided by the citation in the past two years. So that means in the, past, in the third year or fourth year in the past, it doesn't come. But most sometimes we also see we cite a lot of papers from the past years. So uh, uh, in, the, in the one hand, we, we are in, uh, interested in the impact factor. But on the other hand, we have to look at this impact of the journal and the papers are published in dissemination objectively. So uh, we want to increase the impact. Uh, we want to in, uh, publish better papers and look forward to your uh, new contributions. Uh, as Carla said that uh, you have to find out the good subjects to publish in uh, dissemination. This is the uh, latest uh, expanded scope uh, if you read carefully from the uh, homepage of uh, dissemination, uh, you will see that uh, dissemination actually covered a s significant uh, wide uh, subjects uh, related to dissemination. Uh, I just name a few, such as uh, design, uh, technical, economic, regulatory analysis of full scale plants, energy consumption, environmental issues hybrid processes, uh, membranes, new materials. We constantly receive, actually we receive quite a lot of uh, uh, research papers uh, about uh, solar steel, for example, uh, which is, has been, uh, uh, it's quite a traditional t technology. Uh, but there are people are working on this, especially in the Middle East, in some countries which uh, has lower income. Uh, people are still working on that to develop, to develop uh, new technologies or to have an uh, incremental improvement. And there was also some people, some scientists appro approached me by asking, can I publish uh, some research papers which related to uh, uh, membrane bioreactor? Um, my first instinct is that, what do you, uh, why do you want to uh, uh, use MBR to desalinate the water? Can you can you relate to this subject to desalination, like what we stated here? If you if your MBR is for pretreatment of desalination, that means in the downstream of, of your MBR, you still would have to take desalination RO or nanofiltration to get a pure water out of this wastewater. I guess uh, uh, it is possible if you can state clearly that the the importance of the your MBR to remove organics. Uh, to improve the uh, desalination performance. Uh, so anyway, you have to have a nice story to, to talk about, uh, uh, which will have a, a strong relationship to the desalination. And the expertise of the editors uh, right now uh, in our editorial team, uh, mainly covers uh, uh, membranes. So um, we, we are, uh, but we also have a coverage on membrane extraction, absorption, even some uh, solvent-resistant nanofiltration because it, they will also desalinate the, the solvent systems. Uh, we uh, we want to uh, in the near future, in the 2000, 2022, Sean and I uh, would uh, have a new uh, ideas how to uh, incorporate new editors who have a different background. Uh, if you are interested in you can, uh, to contribute to dissemination as editor, uh, you can contact me or either Sean 
to state that uh, what kind of contribution you could bring to this animation. Um, there are some tips uh, which I prepared uh, uh, for this uh, for this event. Uh, all the list uh, uh, from here uh, come from the my experience when I uh, review help uh, sending out the papers to to the reviewers. Uh, because in this meeting room, there are a lot of students. I would like to share my view about how to prepare your uh, uh, manuscripts. So first of all, you have to select the right scope. So you have to look at the scope. Is the subject related to dissemination? Uh, award submitting incremental research work. So if you have one improvement, one step improvement, perhaps you have to have two steps or really uh, a comprehensive uh, 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 development. If you have only one tiny step, uh, I guess uh, you have to think about what is the novelty of the research, how important it is to the dissemination uh, research field. Uh, you have to state very clearly how important your results is for the audience of uh, dissemination. So I uh, advise you to, to write some statement or some uh, words in your uh, uh, cover letter, and as well as your abstract. Um, so if your paper has been rejected by, by the uh, uh, editors, uh, you want to, re, uh, you want to uh, resubmit, please follow the uh, advices from the review and do not submit it again without any changes. The reason is that we have this automatic system to check the similarity of the submissions. If your paper has been submitted before, they will show to all the editors, uh, show the editors who handle your paper, that there is, this is uh, uh, has been submitted. There is uh, about 99% uh, similarity index. So the editors will be uh, cautious about this submission. They will take a look. Uh, they will find out if you have ever changed your style change your text following the uh, reviewer's advice. If not, the chance to be accepted or to be sent it out for review is really marginal. Yeah. And your figures and the graphic abstract should be clear, clean, and colorful. I limit at a 3C. I will show you later with some examples. Um, when you write a cover letter, don't extend it to more than two pages. Uh, my uh, advice is only one page. Make it clear, then it's done. Uh, uh, so when you want to suggest some reviewers, please don't recommend your collaborators. Don't recommend the reviewers who have been published paper with you because this will be automatically found out. And also avoid to select the reviewers from your own country and award this. But doesn't matter, you don't have to. You, you, you only select, select the reviewers from uh, other countries. And if there's uh, experts from your own country, it's fine. But really use the experts who are published, who publish the papers related to the subject. Yeah. And when you send out the papers, students are always uh, 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 cautious about the progress, is it? So the first day they send out the papers, the second day they want the res results. Uh, they constantly check the pages, what is the progress, is it? And ask their professors, why my papers have no feedback yet? <laughs> Remember that all the editors of dissemination, they have a full-time job. And the uh, uh, editor, uh, editor uh, task is their part-time job. And they want to uh, have a really high quality review process, they might have uh, still thinking about if your paper is worthwhile to be sent it out. Um, if you think that the review process is take too long, for example, more than one month, two months is okay. Just don't hesitate. Send an email, uh, send an ad hoc email to the editor, to the editor, uh, to the editors, ask for the process progresses. That's no problem. I think it's fair to have a, a prompt a response, feedback to your, to your research. And the, la the next uh, advice is, uh, okay, you, uh, 
all the editors of dissemination are uh, in their mid career of research. Some people was uh, just make a nice papers following the trendy of dissemination by using a lot of uh, uh, high hot nano nano materials or some trendy series. Be careful that the fundamental and deep understanding of the past problem are also important. So if you can solve a problem which has not been solved in the past uh, several de decades, if you have uh, ideas, you can uh, also publish this kind of paper because this is really a solution to progress of the dissemination. Um, pay serious attention to reviewers comments and respect respect the revision. Um, when you revise, take all the right advice. Otherwise, if you only take some of the advice, you don't correct some other, uh, don't follow the advices from uh, other reviewers, or you think it's too complicated, it takes you a lot of time, you just neglect it. This will give you a lot of trouble. Yeah. And I here put some Chinese word, but because I don't know how to translate, so I uh, translate it literally. Uh, award over glossing. Uh, low ex exaggeration of your uh, contribution to the dissemination field. And um, the last uh, advice is uh, award Cook's work. Some people uh, have a kind of a research format. They replace the recipe <coughs> and have new results they publish. Without uh, the, the contribution of the science in the dissemination is marginal. This kind of work will be, uh, I think, it, it, the rejection rate for this kind of work uh, it will be high. So be careful about this kind of uh, uh, things. The next slides, I want to show you some of the real public, real submissions. Uh, I want to show here that, uh, um, hold on. And the text in this figure is quite small. Uh, it's difficult to read. It's difficult to read. There we have only three data, three data. And we don't have a frame to the figures, but we have a frame and outside. This type of uh, figures, uh, in my view, is not really professional. I should be know here are two figures. Uh, this is, uh, you know, the text is uh, big enough to view, to read. The uh, uh, fonts and the, 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 the graphics are not enough to clearly view the trend of the figures. Here also, we have at least four data or five data to show your trend of your uh, results. Another one is the similarity index. And some people say, no, I didn't copy anything. I only uh, reproduce uh, some uh, text. You see this paper has about 30%. This will uh, arouse my attention to go into the deep to what has been uh, uh, copied or reproduced from previous publications. You will see here clearly that there are some sentences which uh, was uh, copied from the reference one. Uh, I guess this one is their previous, pu previous publications. But even the self uh, plagiarization, plagiarization is not allowed. So be careful when you write a new paper which if, uh, has a follow up to your previous publications don't copy. Yeah. The next uh, is more exaggerated. This uh, this authors they took almost all the text from their previous publications. This is basically not allowed. You have to reorganize your uh, experimental description uh, to reduce the uh, similarity index. Otherwise, uh, the editors will have uh, will be suspecting the. Uh, plagiarization, uh, you will have a serious problem. Uh, one of my last slide before I go uh, transfer my talk to Sean is after being rejected. Uh, this is one of the uh, rejected, the, the, the feedback from one of the author who uh, has been rejected by, by myself. Uh, so he sent me some uh, complaints no, nope. that's fine. But when you are talking about it's a joke, uh, I feel that it's not professional. Uh, all the rejected paper has been has some problems or has some review results, uh, negative review or some issues. 
uh, we take very, very much serious about the manuscripts. Uh, we are very critical about our decision. We are not joking about anything. So please don't make jokes when you are complaining. You can revise it. You can send a polite email to the editors, ask, ask for revision or resubmission. It's fine. You can resubmit, no problem. But on the condition that you respect the quality of your papers, you respect the reviewer's uh, uh, comments, you respect the, re uh, uh, the, the comments from the editors. That's my advice. Now, um, I will give my floor to Sean. Sean, please. Thank you, Tao. Can I will help you uh, uh, flip in the slide. <laughs> if you say next, I will go to next. That's great. That's great. Thank you, Tao. Hello, everybody. Yeah, very happy to share the, our slide together with Tao and then Kara. So, Already you know that the special issue already ready for the membrane desalination 2021. So if you are ready, your high quality of uh, your presentation, uh, your also manuscript. So you can just submit by uh, 30 June 2022. So we are happy to receive your high quality manuscript to review and then publish more papers. Also. If possible, already Tao Ho and then Kara mentioned to that. Uh, nowadays, the na impact factor is only considered last two years. So, if you want to refer your references, can you please uh, utilize the latest uh, published papers? So, that's the best way. You submit your paper and then you can increase also your impact factor which you like to submit. So I recommend utilize the latest uh, your published paper for your references. Also, as an editor, it's very important to, to see the, your latest references rather than 10 years old or very outdated uh, your references. So when you consider your reference, carefully check and then update. That will be a great quality of the, your overall manuscript as well as the, our uh, increasing the impact factor so if you have any question and um, then please uh, let me know also um, next uh, slide Tao please so we have a uh, several more special issue uh, going on in the submission tab in desalination so you can see the COVID-19 impact so we have uh, uh, gone through a lot of uh, difficult time so now it's time to summarize the, how this uh, pandemic affects for the desalination or operation or uh, some of the relevant issues. So if you have any COVID-19 impact for desalination, so very much welcome. So this will give us a very good case study of the uh, next pandemic. So please submit your uh, COVID-19 impact for the desalination. Also saline wastewater and then um, nanofibrous membrane osmosis uh, uh, assisted process membrane distillation. So if you are working on this area, so please uh, uh, submit to your uh, manuscripts. Next slide, please. So this is the our next plan. So already you know what desalination is uh, uh, going to. And then what's the, our next target together with uh, Tao and then myself, how we can also improve the overall quality of uh, desalination journal together with the, our uh, editors as well as the editor board member and yourself as your authors. So we need uh, your support for the next uh, couple of years. So briefly, uh, just let me introduce the strategy by 2024. Five. So we want to target five major uh, items. One is the how to improve the overall quality of the manuscript with uh, research scopes. So we have done a lot of desalination in terms of membrane design, the full scale energy, but uh, still, yeah, we can uh, implement some more new topic and trendy topic which are very much related to energy 
or some of the futuristic industry 4.0 uh, IoT or AI artificial intelligence operation of the desalination plant so there are also several scope we can try to incorporate together and also if you know any uh, good topics which we can work together as a new scope for desalination so please uh, let Tao or myself or other editor know about uh, your opinion so we are happy to discuss together also special issue yes yeah, still we are very much uh, happy to open for special issue because everybody has a uh, different uh, their research interest so if you feel like uh, this special issue is suitable for desalination also you can attract high quality and then reasonable number of uh, manuscripts so please uh, let us know we are happy to yeah, accommodate your special issues also reward so we have uh, a lot of support from the editors editorial board members also young editorial board members and authors and readers so as well as the reviewers so we want to reward them so if you keep contribute to the as a reviewer or author so please uh, uh, let us uh, keep communicating together so we will try to see how we can reward for next couple of years for the uh, very significant contributors to desalination also we have uh, mm, communication improvement so we have uh, linkedin the desalination channel so if you have a, a linkedin or a twitter already desalination has uh, operated this uh, social media for last uh, more than one year so please uh, get uh, some kind of connection each other so that's the your if you have a linkedin and twitter so please connect the desalination journal and then you will be keep updating so we continuously update uh, some publication and then some of the news for the this kind of uh, members conference also if you have any questions so you can leave in the social media so we are happy to answer the, your question also professor Tao uh, uh, engage with the WeChat so WeChat uh, this is the uh, 500 people and they are communicating very frequently uh, depending on the what kind of issue for desalination so please uh, also you can be involved in this kind of uh, our communication channels so that uh, we can improve how to connect it with the desalination community so desalination journal uh, was uh, published for the first uh, issue april 1966 so we are now is uh, 56 years old and then for last six, 56 years so we have contributed our desalination community also we have uh, really uh, made a significant contribution for water resources and desalination in the world and this desalination will become more important because uh, most of people like to live uh, near the seawater and then this pattern is keep improving also our climate change will further uh, increase the, our water shortage and desalination will be a, one of the most sustainable water resource so that uh, we need your support to make a breakthrough and then uh, make a more cost-effective desalination for the future to contribute for our human uh, necessity of the, this water problem so please uh, Join us to increase the overall our impact for this animation journal and activity. Thank you very much, Tao, and then each uh, US. Uh, thank you, Xiong. Yeah. Now we come to the end of the uh, author's workshop. And I see we have some uh, uh, Everybody can send your questions if you uh, think that the talk is, um, is not clear. Um, I see here there is one question. 
Um, now I can read the question. Yeah. Uh, what is the core editor in chief policy for employing young editorial board? Could you please specify the qualifications? Sean, do you want to take this question? Yeah. Uh, we are not employing the young editorial board. We are inviting young editorial board. That's the little <laughs> bit, little bit different terminology because uh, they are very important for future desalination journal. And then, um, yeah, we have uh, currently around six uh, young uh, editorial board member from different uh, countries. So that was uh, selected based on their merit of the their own background of the research area, also what's the, their contribution for desalination, as well as the review role. So we look at the overall their contribution to our journal. So how many paper they published and the, how many citations they have, uh, how many paper they reviewed and the, how many paper they have uh, very good quality of review. And based on that, yeah, also, we look at the, the future potential of the desalination research area and then we are happy to invite them. So in fact, we need more young editorial board members because uh, they are the future of desalination of journal as well as the, our conference, our community as well as desalination uh, area so that uh, if uh, you are interested in editorial board, yes, uh, you can submit your uh, CV and to Tauha and myself or Kara. So we will look at a uh, little bit of uh, your background and uh, we will discuss within our editor's uh, uh, discussion and then we can give you some comment. Also, next year, as you, Tao and Kara mentioned, we are changing the, our editorial team so that uh, we are looking at the overall change of the sum of the editorial board member or new journal like a sister journal of the desalination and then how we can improve the overall quality of the desalination so that uh, yeah if you submit your uh, CV yeah we will consider and uh, we will also call for the new uh, editorial board member for young researchers and then we will select some of the people to work together with the, our editorial board team. That's the, what I believe. So, Kara or Tao, do you have uh, any additional yeah. comments? Yeah, I, I have a comment to, uh, uh, to Sean's uh, uh, answer. Uh, actually, qualification, yeah. Uh, Sean has mentioned a lot of quali qualifications. Yes, we need qualification, but this is a purely it's, there is low quantitative uh, measure, and uh, I think we will look at the uh, future of uh, desalination technologies uh, together with our editorial team. Uh, if your research falls into one of the mainstream, uh, the, uh, you are meeting the state of the art, you, you contribute scientifically or technologically uh, to the state of the art of this direction. I guess you have a, a, a very a high chance, a high chance to be selected. Um, we also look at the, uh, the citation, uh, uh, how important your paper, what's the impact of your papers. The third, I think it's also very much important. Uh, it is uh, the, the uh, young uh, editorial board member is not a, it's not a name, it's not a, a fame, it is a, a service, it's a voluntary service to the journal to improve the quality, uh, improve the reviewing process, uh, improve the uh, impact of the journal. So it's a responsibility. Uh, if you look at it this way, you will have to think about it. Why should I join the editorial team? And um, it takes a lot of time to help with reviewing the paper, to give feedback to the authors. It's really a hell lot of a job. So consider twice if you want to ap apply the uh, young editorial team. But we welcome all the uh, enthusiastic young people to join us because uh, 
you will be the future editor editor chief of Design Nation. Carla, do you have some comments? Thank you very much, Professor Shaw and Professor Her very detailed uh, explanation on the questions. Uh, yes, uh, the journal always welcome the uh, expertise in this area, and we will open our door and welcome to uh, apply if you feel that you can make a contribution for the journal. And uh, we will have to work with you together to bring this uh, journal to uh, a bright new future. Yeah. Uh, um, thank you, Carla. And um, please, and um, the audience, uh, if you, anybody, don't hesitate. If you have any question related to desalination, desalination, this is a very important uh, time and opportunity to ask questions to Sean and me and Carla. Uh, I, I also want to give a comment on uh, Sean's. Uh, 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 Sean, uh, what Sean mentioned is that uh, we probably will have a sister journal of dissemination. Um, this is a, uh, a very important uh, change if this one is going to happen uh, in the coming years. Uh, we are having quite a lot of, uh, uh, we are receiving every day quite a lot of uh, papers uh, which is very much technical engineering oriented uh, research. They are quite nice. I mean, uh, scientific contribution is important, but in engineering wise, dissemination is appli uh, applicable. It's a, it's a practical research. Um, we also welcome really a lot of engineering uh, topic related uh, managed scripts. Um, but uh, because uh, we are receiving too many papers, you know, rejection rate right now, it's uh, uh, about 80%. That means, um, the majority of the manuscripts uh, which has been submit, have been submitted to dissemination were not seen by readers of dissemination. I think it's a shame, it's just really a shame uh, for both the journal and the authors. It's a pity that uh, their research work uh, uh, has not, have not been seen by other uh, scientists around the world. So Sean and I, together with the publisher, we are thinking of perhaps we have a new journal, which uh, we didn't have a f uh, uh, confirmation of the name yet, but we want to name that as uh, uh, dissemination engineering. So if you have uh, uh, very technical papers you want to show to everybody around the world, you might send the papers to, to the sister journal of dissemination. Yeah. Also, we have uh, another question. Uh, could you please uh, arrange a session to talk with editors-in-chief, several journals who are attending this conference, like the last day of uh, MEMDES uh, 2019? <laughs> so, uh, Kara, do you want to answer or tell what do you like? Yeah, Kara. Yeah, Kara. <laughs> Let me think. I oh, it, it's do a you want to uh, perhaps ask Professor Rong Wang? <laughs> <laughs> because Professor Wang is here today, uh, yeah, you, you may you may ask her if she has time. Uh, we can arrange a short, uh, brief uh, uh, session and ask uh, Aaron to organize such a, a meeting room. Yeah, sure. I, I will check with our uh, Maria and uh, let you know. I think it's uh, possible. It's a great point. There is another question from the same same author. I, I like this. <laughs> it's very active. What is the perspective of AI in the field of uh, in the in the field in point uh, in in the point of view of both uh, core editor in chiefs? Sean, I think you mentioned this before. Would you like to answer this uh, question? Yeah, that's a very uh, good question. Uh, that's uh, exactly we need to look at more carefully how we can. Uh, adopt our um, technology with uh, artificial intelligence. Already several companies uh, such as uh, Shino, Shino, Shino Spec from Canada and then some of people they look at uh, how we can automatically try to use uh, artificial intelligence in terms of uh, energy recovery system. So the company uh, I 
I forget the exact name of the company. This, this company, they try to control their way of uh, uh, energy recovery device for the pressure exchanger to meet, optimize the, their arrow brine pressure and then feed water pressure and then pressure exchanger uh, energy recovery system using the AI so that uh, they try to optimize rather than just uh, mechanical way of the energy recovery device and this will give a better way of the energy efficiency for the future of desalination so a lot of people it's uh, more about the responsive uh, optimization system which is uh, artificial intelligence using the uh, machine learning system so that uh, now in the future we look at the more detailed control, detail optimization, detailed automation system so that uh, we need more AI which will be uh, our another uh, industry for related uh, our research as well as the uh, real application opportunity. So desalination now is that company they are very much focused on the optimization of pressure recovery device and feed water and then discharge pressure but in the future I'm sure that the pretreatment membrane fouling also a lot of different optimization can be done by AI so already it's going on it's not about the future it's already commercialized eh? so that uh, we will have a very good research area if we are young and uh, you are very much keen to working on AI and then optimization so that's the interesting area you can also combine the, your good idea with the AI system yeah I agree yeah it's a trend of the dissemination uh, development in, in the near future and we have to focus on also the new technologies yes yeah. Yeah. Same, as, same as the questions are not so many it's very clear the, the information we passed today uh, but we can wait for a few, few minutes uh, if uh, perhaps some people are still thinking of uh, how to uh, formulate their questions. Yeah, I have a question to Kara. So, yes. Recipe, yeah, yeah, you are you are taking care of uh, environmental chemical journals. So this is not mm -hmm. only yeah our desalination journal you are taking care of it. So you have uh, another chemical engineering or some general water processing engineering and then so i am not sure that uh, how they are different from the young research uh, support so which journal they have a different way of the young editorial board members how they want to support what kind of uh, uh, recommendation you want to give to the young research or student who are now is uh, 60 people in this uh, room so can you please share what kind of uh, uh, young people can have the journal and then how we can also improve the desalination journal okay thank you very much uh, for this question Sean and uh, uh, yes we have uh, several journals and uh, maybe uh, uh, everyone has expertise may will face uh, several journals such as you can fit with dissemination also journal of water processes and also uh, separation and the purification technology and uh, i think uh, the most important one is to um, to think think about their uh, this uh, expertise and uh, air air of their expertise uh, which journal you think it fits your uh, future research direction the most uh, and, and you will know that uh, in the future I want to uh, research which area and uh, I want to evolve in which journal and uh, uh, this is a very important one I think um, so uh, maybe it, it's a long it's a long journal to, to uh, contribute to a journal so first maybe as uh, authors and uh, after that maybe you can review papers and uh, um, perhaps as the uh, editor board members so uh, I think uh, consider your uh, expertise first and uh, then uh, maybe you can uh, check the history of the journal and uh, 
choose the one you most interested in. Yes, and so that's my recommendation. Uh, thank you, Carla. There is a new question coming up. Uh, I will read the question. Uh, uh, there are some sections or themes in dissemination, such as FO, NF, fouling. Do different editors manage different sections? Are they uh, are there any pref pref prefer for preference for editors? Sean, do you want to answer this? Uh, in fact, uh, our editors, uh, Nida Hira, Tauha, myself, also Amy Childress, and then uh, Michael Duke, as well as Mohammed Kayet, we are all the membrane expertise. So that uh, we have experience in nanofiltration, fouling, air force, so that uh, Nida allocate the journal without any preference at this moment. So I received uh, a lot of uh, FO, NF, and fouling. I'm sure the tower is have received also a lot of uh, different. Yeah. I receive a lot of papers about solar steel. Solar steel. Okay. <laughs> okay, solar steel as well. So we don't have any preferred editors to have a specific topic at this moment because our editor has uh, different or sim similar expertise of the membrane. So we can cover what yeah. you are talking about in this uh, uh, research topic. Hopefully I answer Krista's uh, question. Uh, but Sean, I would I'd like to add one extra information for the future. Uh -huh. Suppose that there were AI will become one of the uh, main research skin of the dissemination. So you and I have to ask a new editor to join us. So that he will be the only responsible person in the future. I think so. Yes, you're right. Yeah. I uh, hope this answers the, the, the Christus question. Uh, uh, if not, uh, please raise your question again. Okay. Um, please ask questions uh, if you want. Uh, we still have uh, some time to go. I have uh, some more questions to Carla. Yes, yes, please. So I'm sure that we have a lot of uh, people here. They are students or young researchers mostly, and 76 people. So they want to be editor in the future, one of the your journal. So how you select and how you like to invite editor for our future generation of uh, uh, this environment, chemical journals. What's your preference? Mm. Okay, thank you very much for your question. It's uh, maybe a last story to talk but uh, we can make it uh, briefly. Yeah. Mm. Like I uh, like last the questions, uh, I said that maybe mm. um, first, uh, if you uh, want to be an editor, first maybe you, you need to have contribution at least uh, for this journal before, such as uh, you uh, have been uh, authors uh, contribute to the journal and uh, review the papers, uh, all such as uh, you have been guest editor uh, of, the, of a special issue and uh, mm, after that, maybe uh, your name will be remembered by our editors, uh, also maybe noticed by me, uh, and uh, it will uh, increase the possibility for you to be an um, editor or even an uh, editor-in-chief in the future. Yeah. Yeah, I think Carla said, what Carla said is very important. You need a contribution to the uh, growth of the dissemination. Uh, you have to, you need to uh, really uh, do service to the journal. Um, it's a voluntary service most of the time, take you a lot of time and a lot of energy. Uh, you have to give authors really positive or negative feedback to improve the, qual the papers which are published in dissemination. Uh, this is a key, uh, I think, uh, uh, key criteria, one of the key criteria that you think about it, if you want to join the editorial team or board of dissemination. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Thank you, Carla. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, Sean, do you think we continue or do you think we my stop here. If we don't have uh, any Sorry. more questions, yes, I'm happy to close yeah. the session. Yes, I think uh, we will go on for the 
plenary session, an uh, opening session yeah. with two plenary speakers. Thank you. Thank you all for participating in, in this uh, author's workshop. Look forward to meeting you online in the coming three days. Thank you, Sean. Thank you. Thank you, Carla. Thank you, everybody. And Thank you all. see you Thank soon. You all. In see the you later. See you later. Bye. Bye-bye.